peering through the port, you see an unusual land. Its wind-carved pinnacles and buttes bring back memories of the planet Corona, where this whole adventure mess started. That button opens the canopy. As you look around at the towering rocks, immense formations carved over millions of years, you can't help but be overwhelmed by a sense of your own insignificance. Whoa! What was that? You get the feeling you're not alone here. Those Talon things hurt. You didn't much care for the landing either. My, my. Rather than the sequel policeman penetrating the inner sanctum of the nest, the reverse obviously occurred. It looks as though another unfortunate adventurer is suffering a similar fate. You frisk the skewered sequel policeman and turn up a paper-wrapped wad of used chewing gum. The huge nest is constructed of sticks and assorted being parts gathered from this bleak planet. It is then cemented in place by a generous helping of pterodactyl saliva. <laughs> what do you want? A bone marrow sample? You've already cleaned the guy's pockets. Right now the sequel policeman has no distinct smell. But give him a few days and he'll be quite aromatic. Not to mention plumped up like a ballpark prank. Take it from someone who knows sick. Licking corpses is going way beyond simple dementia. Get a grip, pal. You notice a small breach in the side of the nest. You've got a lot of nerve coming back here, Roger Wilco. After leaving me the way you did, you male scum. This is the last woman you will ever dump on. Right, girls? Right. right. Said you couldn't be tied down. I said that? You said you had to be free to roam the galaxy. Was that me? You'll be sorrier than you look. We'll see to that. 
Yeah! Into the sub, flyboy. You hope these women soon realize that they must have the wrong guy. This is a sea cave. This is Zandra. We are approaching checkpoint six. Prepare to open the tunnel door. the door. Sit down. Comfy, Mr. Wilco? Hey, what are you doing? Let me go, witch. Shut up. Your whimpering sickens me. I'll teach you not to run out on me. Thorine is quite knowledgeable in the ways of torture. I'll let the two of you get acquainted. Thorine, do your stuff. With pleasure, Zandra. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Epirip 357, the most powerful hand hair remover in the universe, and it's capable of shaving your legs clean off. I've always wanted to see a man shave with one of these, but I guess you'll do. Now you'll know the meaning of the word. And call it even. Thank you for ridding our fortress of that slimy, awful sea slug. I, uh, I know I can't blame you for backing out at the last minute. I guess I was a little overbearing. Sorry. Can we still be good friends? Well, now wait a minute. Let's talk about this. No, Roger. You were right. You don't need to spare my feelings. 
It just wasn't meant to be. It's better this way. Well, girls, I feel like celebrating. Let's go shopping! Meanwhile, back in Space Quest 12... Well, what have we here? This is the rebel scum we captured in the Space Quest 4 time sector. He had just aided Wilco in escaping. The readout on his time gun indicates that Wilco was successfully transported into this time sector as you feared. That is no longer a concern. Wilco will surrender to us once he has learned we have captured his son. Then he will be destroyed once and for all. 